Greetings and salutations, friends and gamers of all stripes. My name is GM Dave. I am one man behind the screen, and welcome to this quick, simple, impromptu video just meant to get us back into the swing of things. So, just a quick note, there was supposed to be a video up on Saturday. Saturday actually was supposed to be a video where I was going to discuss my final thoughts from the last game I played of our Pathfinder playtest session. Um, yeah, we didn't get through the entirety of the playtest material, but given that Paizo has uh, stopped accepting the... Um, oh god, I'm having a brain fart. Uh, Paizo has stopped accepting the uh, surveys with which they gather information to edit the game. We decided that, you know, they, since they stopped that at the end of last year, excuse me, uh, my group has decided that after now finishing the um, segment of the playtest material that we had reached, which was the ninth level uh, adventure, I, I don't remember the names of any of them, do forgive me. But we completed the ninth level adventure uh, this last Saturday. But since Paizo has basically gathered up all the information they're going to gather, we've decided that's going to end our playtest time. Uh, personally, I'd kind of like, would have liked to have continued it a bit, but it is what it is. And, you know, what we got was fine. It gave us a good look at the game and how it functions. And for me, it's given me enough of a view of the game and how things work that I'm pretty confident what my stance on the game is. So, in the near future, which is to say probably this next coming Saturday, actually, I'm going to put up a video discussing my thoughts on the game, uh, the state of the Pathfinder 2 playtest as it is right now, the material, in my opinion, how I feel it is, how I think it's going to stack up compared to its biggest competitor, 5e D&D, so on and so forth. However, as you can no doubt hear from the sound of my voice, which is the best it's been in the last four days, excuse me, those sniffles are the best they've been too. Yeah, I got pretty wrecked this weekend in terms of the quality of my voice because Friday night, right after I got home from work, I got slapped in the throat with a bronchial infection and after playing through the playtest stuff in the morning when my voice was already rough, playtest stuff that we had put off for God, almost a month because of the Christmas break and New Year's and everything, my voice was so shot that I couldn't record a video. And worse still, I had our third session of the Starfinder, or not Starfinder, Star Shatter uh, RPG that I'm playing in, the Star Shatter D&D 3.5 conversion, which I've discussed briefly on this channel before, and I will discuss a little more in detail in this video today. Um, yeah, I wasn't able to make it to that because my voice was sh so shot and my vocal cords were in such pain about half the time that I was speaking that I, I was just a raspy mess and pretty much no one would have been able to effectively understand what I was saying. So we had to put that off too, which is doubly unfortunate because I'm also working this Saturday. So I'm gonna have to put it off again. Yeah, that, that damn bronchial infection really fucked up my gaming schedule, but Hopefully, Saturday after next, we'll be able to get back in touch with it. And as far as the videos go, today we're getting back in the swing of things and we're starting on my new schedule. I've got it all set up. I know how I'm going to do this. And so Tuesdays and Saturdays are now going to be the days that my videos go up. And damn it all, it doesn't matter if my voice was too shot over the weekend to actually get the video I wanted done done. You know what? I'm here now got the time to at least record something gaming related so here we go i'm doing this again five more channels that are worth your time tabletop gaming channels of some kind five more that are worth your time to subscribe worth your time to at least take a look at so i'm done rambling here we go all right so we're going to start off with our first channel here which is the rpg pundit now, I discovered the RPG Pundit on Minds um, probably about three, four months ago. Uh, you know, not a very big channel, bigger than mine. Not a very big one, but the guy's a smart guy. 
and he's an industry veteran. Uh, he's been in the industry for a couple decades, if I remember correctly. Obviously, he'd be able to correct me on that, but he's been in the tabletop gaming industry. He worked on D&D 5e, and he has published his own material. Now, largely what he works with is OSR material, which is material that throws back to first edition D&D in the early days of tabletop role-playing. Um, and largely, that's what his videos have to do with. He's either discussing OSR materials, or he's discussing happenings within the business side of the TTRPG community, or within the community side of TTRPG community. Now, I do want to make a note. RPG Pundit is very politically minded when it comes to his videos, so if politically minded stuff relating to tabletop RPGs is not something you're interested in, then the RPG Pundit is probably not going to be the kind of channel you'll enjoy. However, if you are interested in little, excuse me, if you're interested in learning a little bit about the business side of things, if you're interested in learning a little bit about OSR gaming and old school style gaming, and if you're interested in checking out material from a man who is quite possibly the most prolific tabletop gaming publisher I've ever seen. He has a series on his um, blog called The RPG Pundit Presents. He's been doing it over the last year, I believe, and in the last year, from what I recall him last mentioning, he has released 60 different individual pieces of content that you can purchase that are usable across a multitude of games. It's not just for the games that he created, which are Lion and Dragon and Dark Albion. It's just about any kind of game, his stuff is designed to fit in and function with most tabletop role-playing games, at least according to what he says. So, he's an industry veteran, he's got a lot of experience, he's very prolific, very interesting, and as you can see right here, it's the back of its head, but he's also got adorable cats. So there's that. Sometimes his cats invade his videos, and it's great, it's wonderful. But most of all, it's interesting stuff, and it's an interesting perspective that he approaches the game, uh, the tabletop gaming industry from. He is someone who has butted heads with people who are in the industry currently, so do bear that in mind. If you don't care for politically minded stuff, I would avoid the channel, but if you don't mind looking at something that's politically minded, if you don't mind listening to someone who can be a little bit abrasive, who can be a little bit uh, strong in his opinions, and who can be, well, I mean, you know, he puts it best when he calls himself the final boss of Internet Shitlords. If you can handle someone like that, it's well worth checking out his channel. Very interesting stuff. Next up, we're moving to someone who I actually know from Minds again, who is a good supporter of mine and who I think really deserves more support on YouTube. He has a larger presence over on BitChute. He's only just recently started on YouTube, as you can see. He's only got eight subscribers right now, but he deserves a lot more. He's got some really cool, interesting stuff. Mr. Brushface. Now, for those of you who are not aware, the new intro portion of my video, the background with the curtains and the nice emblem and shield, all that new stuff, Mr. Brushface made that for me, free of charge. Just a random gift he gave to me one day, and it was... Fantastic. It, I love the thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. The man is incredibly talented as an artist. He's incredibly good with Photoshop. And he does some interesting voice acting work. And that's largely what a lot of his stuff has to do with. It's not directly tabletop gaming related, but where it does relate to tabletop gaming is that, as you can see here, he's got a love for Magic the Gathering. And now what he likes to do in terms of his Magic the Gathering videos He's not discussing the state of the game. He's not discussing how to play the game. He does, as you can see, what is called Magic the Gathering Card Enhancements, where he will take Magic the Gathering cards and enhance them a bit on camera. As in, he draws directly on the cards, gives them fresh new art, and it's some pretty cool stuff. Throws a little cool music in the background, draws it out, and you know what? It's a lot of fun. It's neat stuff. He's very creative, well worth your time once again. He's also got his Star Shatter blog series, which largely is describing the different kinds of ships 
and vessels that you can find in the Star Shattering Universe, which, as I mentioned before, is a custom universe that I am playing a game in right now, which was made up by another friend of mine from Mines, Aragmar, who was the author of the Star Shatter novel series. He just recently released his thirst third novel thirst novel <laughs> excuse me uh, my, my voice and I, I'm, I've fallen a little out of practice with the speaking over the weekend but uh, yeah mr. brushface not only features the MGT MTG card enhancement videos he also features uh, dramatic excerpts that he reads from the books and dramatic readings of the star shatter blogs discussing the various types of ships in universe all stuff meant to help ex kind of expand the Star Shattered Universe that my friends and I have been reading about since we have gotten, most of us have gotten multiples of Aragmar's book. I'm still working through the first one because I'm a fucking slow reader. But also expand kind of the universe we're playing in in the Star Shattered game. So go ahead, give Mr. Brushface a look. It's well worth your time if you're artistically minded and want to see some creative changes made to a few Magic the Gathering cards. Next up we're going to someone who's a little more properly a tabletop gaming YouTuber and that is the Dead Aussie Gamer. Now I believe the Dead Aussie Gamer was formerly known as the Ask a Pathfinder channel and savvy viewers may remember that many 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 months ago within the first couple months of my channel I made a rambling roaming vlog video discussing one of the topics he brought up on Facebook discussing and expanding it uh, in that time I found that he had a YouTube channel this whole time that I didn't know about and so I subscribed and started watching it and it's good stuff it's kinda your typical D, D channel, tabletop gaming channel stuff. So what are the things I do? Lots of tips, tricks, how to play different creatures, how to play different characters, ways to incorporate different things into your games. But for me, even though these subjects may be the same, hearing it covered by different people is always valuable because everyone's going to have a different perspective on it. Everyone's going to have a different idea on how to handle it. And who knows what kind of surprising ideas you might find that you may not have considered before. The Dead Aussie Gamer certainly has some good ideas under that hat of his. He's a very talented speaker. He is concise, quick. He knows how to let you know exactly what it is that he wants to get across, and then he can explain it with examples. All in all, it's high quality stuff. The guy's channel isn't particularly big. Again, Still bigger than mine, but well worth looking into. His most recent video here on Traps and Hazards, I highly recommend it. It's an absolutely fantastic video, and it really got the gears kind of working in my brain, so expect me to actually cover this same topic with my own spin, my own take on it from the lessons I've learned over the years, and a couple trap ideas of my own that I can give to you. But again... Really recommend. Take a look at his channel. It is well worth it if you're an aspiring GM or an aspiring player. Or hell, even if you're experienced and you just want another perspective to look at, Dead Aussie Gamer, great place to look. All right, moving on to our fourth one. We have Adeptus Azul. Now, the smart ones among you out there are going to know immediately that Adeptus is someone that I have done shout outs for in a few of my videos over the past few weeks couple months and uh, that's because Deptus was my first and currently only subscriber on Patreon and uh, whether or not that stays the case we'll wait and see now, doubtless a lot of you are aware of the whole Patreon debacle but we're not here to talk about that today today we are here to talk about Adeptus Azul now Azul as I'm sure you can gather here a lot of the stuff he talks about is largely Warhammer related. That's really his thing. That's his big joy when it comes to the tabletop role playing or tabletop gaming, I should say. It's Warhammer. But recently, he has gotten into tabletop role playing as well. In fact, he is one of the other players that joins me in the Star Shatter role playing game that we have been hosting here on YouTube. Adeptus Azul's channel actually is the channel where you can find that. The game is being played by myself, him, and uh, one other user, another one of my top supporters, Zuviel. 
and it is being run by Eric Marr, the author of the universe, as is appropriate since it is his universe and his D&D 3.5 mod. Um, Azul's channel is not strictly Warhammer related. It's not strictly tabletop gaming related. There's a whole lot of different stuff he talks about. He does Let's Plays. He does vlog videos, does things where he's discussing his health, does things where he's discussing current events. But it's all interesting stuff. And Adeptus Azul is really just, he's a nice guy. He's a charming guy. He's well worth your time. I would absolutely subscribe to him, particularly if you're a fan of Warhammer and you just want to see someone who is willing to just go around and have a little fun in and with that universe. Give it a look. Give him a subscribe. Tell him I sent you. And give him my love. All right, lastly, we come to the Complex Games Apologist. I discovered him about a year ago, I think it was. It was shortly after the whole... No, no, half a year ago. I think it was about half a year ago. I discovered the Complex Games Apologist. Wow, my, my timeline in my head is all screwy right now. <laughs> the sickness really is still messing with me. But we're here, we're working, we're moving on. So, CGA... I discovered him around the time of the whole Roll20 debacle. And he had a very interesting take on it that I hadn't considered. And since then, I have been watching every one of his videos that I can find that came across my plate. Not all of them I was able to find, largely due to you know the issue of YouTube not always telling you when things come up. But when and where I can, I try to slip back in watch back some of his older stuff, and it is well worth it. The man is highly knowledgeable, and he has kind of a technical approach to the way he discusses things. More than that, though, he's not just technical, he is fair. He is one of the most fair and balanced reviewers and um, analysts that I've ever seen on YouTube. He still has his biases, of course. Everyone does. But I have not seen anyone try so actively to be fair, to be positive, to really take the most neutral approach possible when analyzing the way games work, the way they play, to help figure out whether or not it's not only worth it for him, but worth it for gamers like him who enjoy the same sorts of things he does. More than that, his analysis is just very interesting to watch, very interesting to listen to. It's clear from the way he speaks, the man is very knowledgeable. So again, highly recommend you check out the Complex Games Apologist. And as you can see, we actually have a sixth channel here. And this is because even though this video is five tabletop gaming related channels that I think you should subscribe to, I really want to not just look at tabletop gaming related channels because I believe in the last one I plugged one or two people who weren't strictly tabletop gaming related in fact I know I did I plugged some people who were more story related and that's what hello future me is he does lots of literary analysis lots of film analysis breaking down the different sorts of things in universe systems in-universe patterns of behavior and different writing techniques that you can use to really enhance your stories, better understand the good stories out there, and really it's just fun stuff to watch. If you're into any kind of film or literary analysis, Hello Future Me is a channel that is absolutely worth your time. I strongly recommend checking him out, subscribe, watch a few of his videos, if you're into that kind of stuff at all, I can all but guarantee you're going to be hooked. Okay, last minute change, because I almost forgot to put this guy on here again. I meant to put Seth Skorkowski in the first video talking about YouTube channels for gaming that are worth looking into. I can't fucking believe I almost actually forgot to do it again. I have been watching this guy's videos for a couple of years now. Seth Skorkowski... By and large, most of his videos revolve around Call of Cthulhu, but he has a lot of general role-playing videos as well. And this guy, he's just got good ideas, and he's just 
entertaining to listen to. He punctuates his videos with little skits, punctuates the information with sketches that he does with himself in costume with this nice black and white style that's just a lot of fun to watch. And more than that, the dude's an author. As you can see here, every one of these books is a book that either he wrote or helped to edit. So the man is well worth taking a look at. Seth Skorkowski is just charming, he's friendly, he's fun to listen to, fun to watch, very informative. Even if you're not a big Call of Cthulhu fan, he's just enjoyable. I highly recommend checking him out. A lot of the information that he puts out, a lot of the ideas that he uses for how he runs his games really pair up with the kind of ideas that I use as well. And as a matter of fact, I know in one of my So You Want to Be a GM videos, I did a little shout out for Seth Skorkowski because I myself use a couple of the same techniques that he does. And I use his terminology for them largely because I felt that his terminology was a bit stronger than mine. So Seth Skorkowski, I know this, this, is, this is a really really just not the best plug I could have done, but this is really last minute because, again, I'm embarrassed and I almost forgot him again. But absolutely check him out. Even if you're not a big Call of Cthulhu fan, it's well worth checking him out. He does do game reviews of other games. He does reviews of classic modules, does breakdowns of how you can use classic modules in your own games, so on and so forth, tips for game masters, tips for players, all the usual kind of stuff but very entertaining, and the skits he punctuates it with are not only charming, they're a lot of fun, and they're pretty damn funny too. So give him a look. Seth Skorkowski, once again, absolutely subscribe to him. And with that, finally said and done, friends and gamers of all stripe, my name is GM Dave. I am your man behind the screen. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a like and hit that subscribe button. Swing by these other channels and hit the subscribe buttons there as well. I will make sure to include links in the descriptions below for all of them. Well worth your time. Check them out. Give them a watch. Tell them I sent you. And if you enjoy what I do here, again, hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. Open the description box down below to follow me on social media for regular updates of when these videos go up. I highly recommend following me on Minds above all else as that is the social media platform that I am the most active on outside of YouTube. If you want to talk to me directly, if you want to get in touch with me somehow, make suggestions to me for videos I should make, topics you want me to cover, Minds is the best place to do it. So swing on over there, check it out, subscribe. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm done rambling. Roll high. Roll play well. Game on. I'm going to go lie down, take some, take some sinus medicine, and I'll see you guys again on Saturday with my Pathfinder 2 review. All right.